here's what we recommend. And again, you have to come up with something that you are comfortable with and your partner is comfortable with, but you definitely, definitely need to discuss this auction, this auction, all right? Here, the question is, is a new suit forcing, non-forcing, non-forcing constructive, whatever the heck that means, non-forcing, all right? And what is a jump raise? Our recommendation, let's play different things on the one level and on the two level. So in other words, we would play, I recommend playing that one level bids are non-forcing, but I generally will bid again unless I really have nothing or I've really shown, shown out my entire hand. So a diamond heart past one spade would be non-forcing, but the one heart bidder really shouldn't pass unless they overcalled to just say, hey, partner, I want to show you that I have a few hearts and want to, to get at, out, right? So in other words, what would a pass look like? Oh, let's say we had two small and king, queen, jack, and nine and queen. If I had this hand, all right, I would overcall one heart always, but my partner bids a spade, I don't want this auction to go any higher, okay? Because you only have two spades, you have a five card suit, your partner couldn't cue bid to show support, okay? So for all those reasons, that's the sort of hand where I would just pass one spade. But if I had a little bit more, I would probably bid again. If I had king third, now I would rebid a no trump, all right? Or if I had a third spade and this, I would bid two spades. I, I would find a bid if I had anything a little bit more than just my bear, bear, bear opening. Okay, so you have to discuss it though. When it goes one, let's say one diamond, one heart, pass two clubs, I would play that that is forcing. That is forcing. 